Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today this video is going to be a little different. I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I pass my NCLEX. So for those of you that don't know, I am a registered nurse. I graduated in December of 2019. Prior to that, I did the LPN. I saw I was an LPN for two years. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so let me just do this a disclaimer before we get started. So the information that I'm going to share with you is basically tips that I feel like were very helpful. I feel like they helped me pass the NCLEX. Now of course everybody's different so what worked for me may not work for you but it may work for you and if it does then great. Um, so again, let's get into it. Um, so honestly guys, you know, I know that there are so many different um, resources out there. I graduated December 13, 2019. I took the NCLEX on January 3rd and I found out on January 7th that I passed. And I passed with a minimum of 75 questions. So back then when I took the NCLEX, we didn't have any of this pandemic stuff going on. So the minimum amount was 75 and the max was 265 well with all that's going on you know that it's now minimum is 60 questions and the max is 130. tip number one get this out of your head okay that studying starts whenever you finish nursing school hello what have you been doing throughout this whole nursing journey you've been studying to take the NCLEX okay I feel like you know in school you've been preparing for this so don't feel like oh I graduated now it's time to start studying I need to go back and look over everything that we cover from all those different semesters like it's not gonna happen you don't have that much time so let's get that out of the way okay tip two answering questions I feel like the more questions that you answer the better. I feel like that is a good strategy in order to help you in, in order to help you pass the NCLEX. Knowing what type of questions that the NCLEX may ask is good, but not only do you answer the questions, you need to make sure once you answer them and you get them wrong, you need to look at the rationale, okay? Look at the rationale, see why you got it wrong because they can ask you they can give you that one question, but if you understand, if you understand the concept of what what they're asking, if you un, you fully understand it, they can ask it to you 50 ways, and all 50 times you're going to get it correct. So understanding the rationale, understanding why you got it wrong, is key. Okay. Um. There's like I say. So with with the questions, there are so many different resources that you you can use and I feel like it's best to maybe just stick to one or two resources and this is why I say that because say you um, set, up, set it up in your mind that you're going to use four different resources and say all those resources have at least 1,000 questions okay you may finish all 4,000 of those questions but I feel like you're gonna make you're gonna overwhelm yourself with oh I have to get all these questions done and if you don't you just you feel like oh I, I didn't get enough done I didn't study enough because I didn't answer all these questions so I feel like you should just use one resource um, because that's just gonna be best and also the different resources they have um, you know they use different wording they use different values, so I would just stick to one resource. Um, I'll go over a couple of the resources that I know is out there. There's um, ATI, there's HERS, there's UWorld, um, there's uh, Kaplan. There are so many of them. Um, what I used was I used HERS for my uh, questions. And let me tell y'all, those questions that HERS offer are hard when I say I personally felt like the questions on hers were harder sis you're not hearing me brother you're not hearing me they were harder than the NCLEX and 
I can testify that I even talked to some of my other friends that graduated with me and they also felt like her questions were hard. Um, so if you, you know, feel like you're doing great on hers, that's awesome. But for me, I felt like I was just doing so bad with those hers questions. But I ended up passing the 75 questions. So, you know, I guess I just underestimated myself. Um, also, there's U World. Now, U World is expensive. I'm not going to lie, it's expensive. And I looked it up and I seen that um, they have a, it's an access for $129 and you get 2,000 plus questions. Um, and that's for a 30 day. Uh, subscription there's also a 60-day subscription and you get 2,000 plus questions and one assessment test for $159 um, but hers we paid through we paid for hers um, in our tuition so that was covered um, but like I say guys there are so many different resources out there just find which one um, works for you also your books books that you may have used in, in school like uh, Saunders this book here has a lot of questions in it and it says NCLEX or N. So these are these types of questions are you know basically how the questions on NCLEX is gonna be. Um and it's you know it's it's a lot of questions in here. Um also there's this Hesse uh NCLEX book. It also has you know questions in here. Um you know it, it's it's a good resource. Um and this is my hearse book. So, you know, also with the hearse, you get a book and they have questions and you basically fill in the blank. Um, it just kind of looks like this. I don't know if y'all can see that, but um, y'all yeah, probably can't. But, you know, you just fill in the blanks. You know, it's like a live review that they came did for us. I think it was like two days, two or three days was a live review. Um, but yeah, that's for the questions. Let's see what else I have for you guys. Um, and also, let me go back to the questions and or, or another tip. Um, I feel that it's beneficial to do a calendar and make this calendar realistic. Make the calendar um fit your lifestyle you know if you know you're not a person that's gonna do 200 questions a day don't even put that on your calendar like do set yourself for set yourself up for goals that you're going to achieve so you know if you feel like you know my attention span is short i can only do about 30 questions in a day well then set yourself to do 30 questions in a day you know because i feel like if you do these unrealistic goals and whenever it comes time to do your in collection like I didn't get this done I didn't do this I only got 10 questions done out of the 150 I said I was gonna do so like I say just make make sure those goals that you set for yourself are realistic okay all right so tip three take the in clicks as soon as possible now I know my teacher said it your teacher said it Joe Blow teacher said it the 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 lady that you work with at your job her teacher told her take the NCLEX as soon as possible because the longer you wait your chances of passing greatly decrease um i can't stress that enough like take it as soon as possible soon as possible okay um tip four audio resources audio um so throughout nursing school, I would listen to um, my teacher lecture. Um, I would just listen to different um, different audio resources that talked about nursing things. If it was, even, sometimes I even recorded myself, recorded myself, and I listened to myself, uh, you know, recite things like say lab values or um, just different disease processes. So whenever I was doing my questions, um, someone gave me this, this audio. And I don't know if you guys ever heard of uh, Mark Clement or Clement. So he does uh, live reviews similar to hers. 
Now this Mark Clement guy used to write for the Inklex, but he doesn't write anymore because he does these live reviews. When I say he is phenomenal, like you have to listen to him. Like he, the way he breaks down information, the way he breaks it down to where you will remember it, the way he gets your brain to start thinking, like it was it was awesome. And when I say I would listen to him all the time, I would listen to him all the time. And I kid you not, y'all, the day before I took my NCLEX, I listened to a part of the audio, it was um, like maternity or so. And I was like, I wasn't gonna listen to it. I end up listening to it and it 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 gave the um I'm not gonna say the formula but it broke down how to calculate um I think it was like a woman's due date or something like that it was it was something with pregnancy or or no I think it was to um say how much weight she's gonna gain in a trimester y'all had I had not listened to that I would not have got the question right because I had a question that asked about how much weight the woman should gain in her um, ex trimester. And y'all, I was like, I was so thankful that I listened to it because listening to him, you know, I got the question right. Like, I know I got it right. Um, so guys, like his, his, uh, his audio is awesome. I'm not going to link it in here because I don't think I should be linking it. Um, but in the comment section, if you want me to send it to you, just put your number in and I can um, send it to you. Or maybe I can email it. Email, email or your phone number, whichever one you prefer. But guys, that is my four tips that I have for you that I think will help you um, be successful in passing the NCLEX. Um, and guys, just know this. If, if you don't pass it the first time, don't lose focus. Don't feel like, oh, I'm, I'm not smart enough. You're smart. Um, and sometimes we don't always get it right the first time. And that's okay. The thing is, just keep going. Keep pushing. As long as you pass, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if it was on the first try, the second try, the third try, or the fourth. As long as you pass, that's all that matters. So guys, if you feel like this video was helpful, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from me, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. So until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye babies.